Hello and welcome to a new video in our series of writing. In video 15 we discussed how to start writing in a very interesting and creative way. In this video which is number 19 we will discuss writing an introduction to an evaluative essay. An evaluative essay is an opinion essay. It's a kind of question after which you are asked to give your opinion or to choose one of two opinions. But today, I am focusing only on the introduction to that kind of video. Uh, I, the introduction to that kind of uh, writing, okay? So, we can, writing, uh, we can start writing like this. H-G-S-O-P. Of course, these letters refer to words. Of course, I know now that you can guess because you have watched video 15 you can guess that hook, H is for hook. If you don't know what a hook is, you can go back to video 15 and watch it, okay? And I will put the link under this video, okay? After the hook, we must start with a general statement about the topic we are discussing. But of course, we can start sometimes with the general and then the hook comes later. Or we start with the hook and the general comes later. But we should not leave either of them. We should not leave any of them. Okay? After, so this is a general. General statement. In the general statement, you write only one or two sentences related generally to the topic you are going to discuss. Okay? And after that, I want you to guess the letter S. What does it refer to? Yes, it refers to specific. So you write a specific statement. You write a specific statement, which could be one or two specific sentences related to the topic. And then we come to the O. What do you think it means? Yes, opinion. Here, because it's an evaluative essay and you are writing mainly to express your opinion and to justify your opinion, you must give your opinion twice. Once in the introduction and the other time in the conclusion and we will come later to the uh, conclusion, inshallah. In the opinion a statement, you should start with one of the phrases of giving opinion, like, I believe that, I strongly believe that, I, in my view, I think, to me, it seems so and so and so. Okay? What about the letter P? What do you think it stands for? P stands for a plan. So, what should you give in a plan? <clears throat> in a plan, you should give the plan for your writing. For example, you can say, this essay discusses the main advantages of the internet. For example, or this essay explains why it is very important to have more than one friend. Okay. Or this essay gives reasons for keeping the environment clean and so on. So, this is our uh, plan of work for writing an introduction. In the other video, you will find two examples of introductions. I want you to read and reply to me to uh, take out the hook or the general statement, the specific one, the opinion and the plan. I want you in your comments to read my writing and then to write the hook is so and so and so. The general statement is so and so and so, and uh, I hope that you will do it this way. Thank you very much, and I will be waiting for you. I'll be waiting for you. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. See you.